He just said, it is go. I don't care how big you are, once you do this, the pain is going to be extraordinary. This is a basics video on gooseneck. So gooseneck is one of our techniques that we're using, one of the major four techniques that we're using. Remember the four techniques that we're using? We're using a gooseneck, we're using a twisted wrist stance like this, which is a code gosh. We're using a finger technique here, and we're using arm bar. So those are the four basic things that we're going to use, and we use them predominantly. So gooseneck takes your hand, and it makes it look like a goose. So that's the gooseneck here, it's in that position. So I have that, so that's it. And now I can just turn it sideways, and it's still like a gooseneck. I just put my hand into it here, and I have control. All right? So that's the control that we have with gooseneck. That's the hand. That's the way I want to put the hand. I want to put the hand so the hand is up and down, right here. I don't want to take the hand right now and take it on an angle here. I don't want to take it on an angle here. I don't want to take it all the way over like this. I want the, the hand absolutely vertical. For now, let me change this. Right, so this is the way it's going. So this is like I'm praying. When I pray and I have him here, I put his hands right between my hands. I grab and I go down and I just pray, please sit down. So that's where he goes. So if I take that hand, I put down, put pressure on. Again, I'm using fulcrums and levers. This is the fulcrum, right here at the wrist, on gooseneck. The lever is the hand, the whole hand. This is a stick. This is the fulcrum. I'm taking this and I'm pushing it, right here. So I want to take my finger and put my finger right where the hand meets the wrist. And I'm going to pull in with that and push down, point my finger right to his body and push down, down, and he goes. If I go up on him like this, nothing happens. If I push it this way, nothing happens. If I go here, nothing happens. If I go here, he drops. It doesn't take anything. It doesn't take anything on that. So remember, to take this here, put your hand like this, right in here. Keep it straight, just like I'm praying. If I'm praying to you, that's where I am. I take it down. I can put two hands on it and go down, but what I want to do is I'm not pushing this way, I'm, not doing, I'm pulling his hand towards me and I'm pushing his finger towards him. These fingers are going towards his nose. This hand here is coming towards me. I'm pulling and pushing down. Right there. All I'm using is this technique here. So I'm not taking my shoulder and going in here doing anything like that. My hands are just here and they go here. And they just go down. I just take it this way. When I first learned how to eat with a knife and a fork, I was maybe three. And I was taking my knife and a fork and I was going like this and going like this until I figured out, if somebody told me that I don't have to do that anymore, I can just go like this. Because these work. They work here also. So if I take that, they work this way here. I just hold this and go down. I don't want to get him to let his elbow go up, because if he wants to take his elbow up and spin and turn and get out of that, and that's the way he's going to get out of that. So once I hold him here, I got him in this position, I can put my hand right over the top and not let him go. So it just goes. If he does that to me, the same thing. He just, he just goes. I don't care how big you are, once you do this, the pain is going to be extraordinary. It's going to be pretty tough. <laughs> it's going to be tough. So he, does, he has to do that. Once I have him in this position here, I can just push down on his elbow. If he takes his, if he takes his hand and he wants to bring his hand up to get out of that, I just put pain on it. So it's just pain. And pop it down. So once I do that, it's just put pain in, in. So just make sure that you hold your hand like, like this. You're going to find out that we use this for all sorts of techniques. He grabs my hand here, I put it in, and I have it. So practice that, have at it, and once you, once you get that, you have to do it a little bit. Once you get it, you're never going to lose it. It's going to work really well for you. Thanks.